In this video, you're going to learn how to nest pages inside other pages. So, for example, uh, we, we actually walk you through this every year at the beginning to archive your current year or your, your previous year's pages into a, an archive page. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So let's say, for example, um, in fact, uh, let me rename this one here, technology. Let's say that uh, we're at the beginning of the new school year, and these are the pages that I made in all of my work last year. So my technology class, my English history and science class, for example. And then what I would want to do, if I look at these in the, if I look at these in the building phase, I'd see that they're all up here at the top. Okay. So if I want to actually nest these inside an archive folder, I'm going to go to back to pages. And I'm going to create a new page, and I'm just going to call it a standard page, 2013-14. So that would be the school year that this stuff took place. And what I can do is I can bring this uh, to the top here, let's say right underneath my home page. And then in order to nest these ones inside there, what I do is I'll take the first class, I'll bring it up, and then I'll bring it slightly inside. And you'll notice that when I do that, a little placeholder gets created right there. It's kind of a ghost of a page. If you do that, what that means is now 2013 and 14 has the technology page inside it. And we'll see what that looks like in just a second. So I can take my English, bring it in, my history, bring it in, and my science, and bring it in. So now, under that 1314 page, I should see these pages. And, and the same thing is actually already happening here. Inside my technology class, I've got three three sub pages. Um, depending on your grade level, you'll set up your technology classes differently. That's not really a part of this video. So I go back to, to the build section. And now up top, I don't have English and science and history here. I just have 2013-14. And then in each of these, you'll see there's my technology page with its three sections. And here's my English, history, and science pages. And then I can start adding other subjects for this year. Let's say I'm going to create another, let's say I have technology again, um, and I might have science again, etc. Okay, and then these become a part of my current school year's um, portfolio, portfolio pages. Okay, so that is nesting inside an existing page.